guys and welcome back to a brand new preview here on the channel. I'm James, not joined by Adam today as you can see. Um, yeah, just timing issues today, um, we weren't able to sit down and record. But he will be back for the Prediction League uh, video which will be out tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I'm also going to be introducing uh, closer to Christmas time is the 12 days of away days. Um, yeah, something a little bit interesting. We're going to upload every day for 12 days leading up to Christmas. So uh, yeah, hopefully that should be a little bit interesting. Um, but yeah, obviously we're here today to give you guys our preview for the Fulham game this upcoming. Um, yeah, should be an interesting one. Obviously last year Fulham had such a significant impact on our season. Uh, we were 2-0 up and then we conceded three goals in six minutes to uh, go 3-2 down. Ended up losing the game 4-2. Uh, hopefully this year can be a little bit different. And obviously hopefully this year it doesn't turn our season around because obviously so far we've had a great season uh, third in the league uh, six points behind Newcastle four behind Brighton and yeah I mean we just got to hope that we can continue this run up but uh, yeah obviously going into the preview Fulham uh, some danger men really took out for them Tom Kearney is someone who uh, has been pretty impressive I want Reading to actually go for him in January um, it sounds a little bit interesting um, because I feel like we still got a little bit of a gap in that left wing obviously Roy Behrens is there but I don't feel like he's cutting it really that massively for Reading. Um, someone who I feel like we could potentially go for is Tom Kearney, obviously with the new Chinese owners, which hopefully I'm going to get into more detail in with a different video, uh, hopefully, if I understand it a little bit more, obviously, well, who they are, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, Sonia Luca was well, someone who's been really impressive for them so far this season, picked up a few assists and a few goals. And uh, Chris Martin as well, obviously on a loan from Derby. As a good striker, obviously proven in the championship as well. Um, so someone who's really someone to look out for for them. Uh, our team knows from my starting eleven. Uh, obviously in goal I want Ali Al Habsi. Obviously there's no point changing Ali. Um, yeah, back five I'm gonna go with Paul McShane, Liam Moore, and Chris Gunter to come into the centre back position. Uh, sorry, did I say Liam Moore? Um, sorry, I meant uh, Tyler Blackett, Paul McShane, and Chris Gunter. Obviously, Liam Moore is suspended for this game, which is something that is really going to be a big impact on us. It's going to be dependent on if we can fill that Liam Moore gap. Uh, Moore usually plays the left centre, uh, sorry, the centre centre back role. Um, so we're probably going to have to get someone like Paul McShane to come across and play there while. Gunter goes to the right centre back, and then obviously we'll still have Blackett at that left centre back. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see who plays in that three man centre back positions. Obviously, we had the likes of Cooper in the team, um, who's obviously come back from an injury and hasn't really impressed so far this season. Obviously, he was injured for a little bit, but uh, hasn't really done too well uh, when he's had his opportunities. Uh, we could bring someone in, maybe like Joey Vandenberg if he's fit. Uh, it just really does depend on uh, fitness issues and stuff like that. But personally, I bring Chris Gunter into that right back. So on the right wing back and the left wing back, or the right mid and the left mid. I don't know what we play. It's, it's really confusing. Um, I'd have Jordan Obita on that left wing back and Tanai Watson over on that right wing back. Um, obviously, I think a uh, ring is Insue or someone like that, uh, Agi or something like that is uh, really good. Obviously, um, did a little trick against Newcastle, which is kind of the only thing I've known him for so far this year. Um, but yeah, obviously, he'll be playing for them most more than likely, I'm pretty sure. Uh, obviously, Tom Kearney as well playing for them. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Tanai Watson can do uh, in that position. Obviously, he's still in 19, 18, 19, 20, and it's going to be interesting to see how he deals with that pressure uh, of obviously playing away. Um, against the top half table side this year so far. Fulham have definitely proved me wrong at the beginning of the year. I said they'll be troubling for relegation because I think most people would agree with me. They didn't have that goal scoring threat. Uh, but obviously now they've kind of balanced the goals out between everyone. Obviously losing McCormack and Dembele was such a big miss for them in the summer. Um, but yeah, I feel like uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting game either way um, for Tanai Watson. If he does start on that left wing back, Jordan Obito is someone who pushes more forward than usual. Uh, playing that left wing back position is better, I feel like, for him than the left back because obviously you've got Tyler Blackett there to cover on that left back position. Uh, playing that left wing back position for Obito is much better, obviously, because he can go more forward. Um, and it doesn't really matter too much about him getting back. It doesn't matter massively, but it uh, still does, obviously, matter. Uh, going to the centre midfield positions, obviously, so the two centre mids, I want to see Danny Williams and George Evans play. Obviously, Williams um, and, we and Evans have put a good partnership, actually, in the last couple of weeks. Um, obviously, against Burton and Bristol, them two have looked quite good. Danny Williams with his new haircut looked all right against Bristol. Um, dribbling ability, again, is just a massive key for Danny Williams in this game. Um, obviously, Scott Parker will be playing for them. Uh, if Williams can frustrate him and maybe take him out of the game, it uh, could be interesting for us. Uh, Evans, as well, with the passing ability and the defensive capability that he has, um, could be really interesting to see uh, what we can really come up with in this game because attackingly, um, I feel more confident. Obviously, they've got Button in goal, David Button, someone who isn't the greatest goalkeeper, but he isn't the worst. Um, 
if you saw the highlights against Brighton, uh, Fulham were pretty poor defensively. Um, and that's something that hopefully we can capitalise on. Uh, but yeah, in that Roman position, I want to see Roy Behrens go back in there. Um, I feel like Behrens is a good position, a player to have who's roaming, because obviously he's more flicks and tricks and stuff like that. Um, so I feel like playing him in a Roman position is more suited than the wings. Obviously on the wing, he doesn't have the greatest amount of pace as Behrens, so he's a bit isolated out there, whereas if he's roaming, he can kind of come anywhere he wants, and uh, he's filling in that John Swift uh, gap at the moment. Uh, on the right wing, though, I'd want to see Gareth McClear. Oh, no, right striker. I want to see Gareth McCleary, and left striker, I would want to see... I want to see uh, Dominic Samuel. Uh, the two pacey men up top really has worked for us so far uh, in the two games that we've tried them out. Um, it's really good actually because it's a different injection of what we've had before. Obviously we had Jan Kermigan up there who was a target man. He's not utilising pace whereas with them two we can play it over the top and use the pace of them. Uh, it's a perfect example against Burton. Uh, ben Turner who was playing for them was absolutely isolated in that game and uh, taken advantage from the running players really with McCleary um, just outpacing him every single time and Samuel picking up a goal in that game as well. Samuel did win a penalty against Bristol which actually turns out not to be a penalty which we've all seen back and had a look at but um, yeah I mean with them two men there they're the danger threats for us um, and yeah I just feel like hopefully with them two we can get a result and uh, get past the defence of Fulham. Uh, going for a result though, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I'm not fully confident going into this game, obviously, with what happened last year at Fulham. We don't really have a great record at Fulham. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go with a 1-1. I'm going to go with Lucas Piers on the score for them, just because obviously an old running player will score against us. It, it happens all the time. And um, I'm also going to go with... I'm going to go with McCleary to score our goal. He's picked up a few goals this year. I think it's seven for the season for him. Uh, right out of 10, I'm going to go for a 6. I just don't think we're going to be up to scratch this game. I feel like we're going to be a little bit sloppy and a little bit worse than usual. Um, and obviously that would happen in front of the 3,500 fans that we're apparently meant to be bringing. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed it. Obviously, uh, I want you guys to put down in the comment section your team sheet below. Uh, put your score down as well if you want to, but uh, obviously the Prediction League will want that for us. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Obviously, I've been James. I'm usually joined by Adam. He's not here today, though. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.